properties of addition. Let's recall. First, let's review the important terms used in addition. Look at the number sentence. 7 plus 3 equals 10. 7 and 3 are what we call addends. Addends are numbers that are combined or put together in addition operation. Number 10, on the other hand, is what we call the sum. The sum or total is the answer in addition operation. There are three properties of addition. The first property of addition is the zero or identity property of addition. The second one is the order or commutative property of addition. And the third property is the grouping or associative property of addition. Let's begin with the first property of addition, and this is the zero or identity property of addition. For example, look at the picture. There are 12 apples in one box. There are no apples in the other box. How many apples are there in all? The number sentence for this is, 12 plus 0 equals 12. So the answer is 12. Any number added to 0 gives the same number. 0 is the identity element of addition. So 12 plus 0 equals 12. It belongs to the 0 or identity property of addition. Here are some examples of zero or identity property of addition. 47 plus zero equals 47. This is an identity property of addition. Another example is zero plus eight equals eight. 20 plus 0 equals 20. 11 plus 0 equals 11. Let's proceed to the second property of addition. And this is the order or commutative property of addition. For example, let's look at the picture. How many girls are there? There are actually nine girls. How many boys are there? There are actually four boys in the picture. How many children are there in all? The answer is 13. The number sentence for this could be 9 plus 4 equals 13, or it could be exchanged 4 plus 9 equals 13. You can change the order of the addends without changing the sum, just like in the example, 9 plus 4 equals 13, and in the other side, 9 and 4 are exchanged so it becomes 4 plus 9 equals 13 but the answer is still the same which is 13 so this is an order or commutative property of addition here are some examples of order or commutative property of addition 8 plus 2 equals 10 or 2 plus 8 equals 10. Another example of order or commutative property of addition. 5 plus 15 equals 20. Or 15 plus 5 equals 20. Another example. 4 plus 3 equals 7. Or 3 plus 4 equals 7. 
Another example. 11 plus 8 equals 19. Or 8 plus 11 equals 19. Let's proceed to the third property of addition. And this is the grouping or associative property of addition. For example, look at the picture. There are four balls and another two balls and another three balls. How many balls do you see? Add them together. The number sentence for this could be, you need to group four and two plus three. Or four and then you need to group two and three. Since we group four and two, let's add them. Four plus two is four plus two equals six. And then copy number three. So it will be six plus three equals nine. Or copy number four plus you need to add the group numbers. Two plus three equals five. So the number sentence will be 4 plus 5 equals 9. Again, 6 plus 3 equals 9 and 4 plus 5 equals 9. They still have the same answer which is 9. You can change the grouping of the addends without changing the sum. So that is why this is an example of grouping or associative property of addition. Another example of grouping or associative property of addition. Look at the number sentence. 3 plus 1 plus 5 equals 3 plus 1 plus 5. Let's add first the first group. 3 plus 1 equals 4 and then copy number 5. So it will become 4 plus 5. On the other side, copy number 3 plus add the group. 1 plus 5 equals 6, so it will become 3 plus 6. 4 plus 5 equals 9. On the right side, 3 plus 6 is still number 9, so the answer is 9. And this is an example of grouping or associative property of addition. Another example. The first group is 5 plus 1 and then plus 2 equals 5 plus another group which is 1 and 2. Let's add first 5 plus 1 and the answer is 6. And then copy number 2 equals 5 plus, let's add 1 and 2. 1 plus 2 equals 3. 6 plus 2 equals 8. And 5 plus 3 equals 8. And this is an example of grouping or associative property of addition. Another example, 10 plus 5 plus 4 equals 10 plus 5 plus 4. Let's add first the first group. 10 plus 5 equals 15. And then copy number 4. On the right side, copy number 10 plus add the group 5 plus 4. 5 plus 4 equals 9. 15 plus 4 equals 19. And then 10 plus 9 equals 19. This is an example of grouping or associative property of addition. Let's try. Identify the property of addition used in each addition sentence. It could be identity, commutative, or associative. 7 plus 0 equals 7. What is the correct answer? The answer is identity. This is an identity property of addition. How about this? 11 plus 2 equals 2 plus 11. What is the correct property of addition? The answer is Commutative. This is a commutative property of addition. How about this? 8 plus 5 equals 5 plus 8. What property is this? The correct answer is 
commutative. This is a commutative property of addition. How about this? 2 plus 4 plus 6 equals 2 plus 4 plus 6. On the left side, 2 plus 4 are being grouped. And on the right side, 4 and 6 are being grouped. So what property of addition is this? The correct answer is associative. This is an associative property of addition. How about this? 9 plus 11 plus 3 equals 9 plus 11 plus 3. On the left side, 9 and 11 are being grouped. And on the right side, 11 and 3 are grouped. So what property of addition is this? The correct answer is associative. This is an associative property of addition. How about this? 5 plus 2 plus 9 equals 5 plus 2 plus 9. On the left side, 5 and 2 are grouped. And on the right side, 2 plus 9 are grouped. What property of addition is this? The correct answer is associative. This is an associative property of addition. How about this? 13 plus 9 equals 9 plus 13. What property of addition is this? The correct answer is commutative. This is a commutative property of addition. How about this one? 0 plus 100 equals 100. What property of addition is this? The correct answer is identity. This is an identity property of addition. Thank you.